just as I am. Often we feel that only if we were in different circumstances or had some special talent, we could be a better witness for God and serve Him more effectively. Today's hymn was written by a bedridden invalid who felt useless to do anything except express her feelings of devotion to God. Yet Charlotte Elliott's simply worded text has influenced more people for Christ than any hymn ever written or perhaps any sermon ever preached. Charlotte Elliott seemed to have everything going for her as a young woman. She was gifted as a portrait artist and also as a writer of humorous verse. Then, in her early 30s, she suffered a serious illness that left her bedridden, weak, and depressed. During her illness, a noted minister, Dr. Caesar Milano with Switzerland, came to visit her. Noticing her depression, he asked if she had peace with God. She resented the question and said she didn't want to talk about it. But a few days later, she apologized to Dr. Milan. She said she just wanted to clean up some things in her life before becoming a Christian. Milan looked at her and answered, Charlotte, come just as you are. That was enough for Charlotte Elliott, and she yielded herself to the Lord that day. Later, she wrote the text for Just As I Am in 1836. It was published that year in, this, in the second edition of her Invalid's Hymn Book, a collection which contained 115 of her original works. She wrote this hymn with the desire that it might aid financially in building a school for the children of poor clergymen that her own pastor brother was trying to build in Brighton, England. Miss Elliot felt so helpless in her desire to aid the parishioners in this worthy project. Interestingly enough, this one hymn from the pen of the clergyman's invalid sister brought in more funds than all of his bazaars and projects combined. The brother himself has left these words. In the course of a long ministry, I hope to have been permitted to see some fruit from my labors but I feel more has been done by a single hymn of my sisters. So we give God thanks today for his acceptance of us just as we are. As we respond in simple faith to him, we will find all that we need, not only for our personal salvation, but also for the particular place of service that he has for us.